do a take. Control of the dead. Seven hundred twenty-four take one. And action. Hi, I'm Danny Boyd. Yeah, boy. And this is Cinema Sticks. I'm told that you stay in your homes, make no attempt. So, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, it's basically what happens when two good friends in real life Hello. <laughs> write a movie starring two best friends in real life <laughs> based on an idea they had working on a tragically short-lived British comedy series in real life. It's your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Hi, babe. Featuring an episode where one said person's character hallucinates a zombie outbreak, while playing some Resident Evil 2. Hiya. Don't sneak up on me like that! Spaced, if you didn't know, was the 1999 Channel 4 sitcom co-created and co-written by Simon Pegg and Jessica Stevenson, who plays Yvonne in Shaun of the Dead. Long time no see. And directed by Edgar Wright. The show also featured a fresh Nick Frost, Simon Pegg's real-life best friend for years. Get in the car, you big ape. Okay, then. <laughs> and 60% of the reason the magic of this movie, and frankly, the entirety of the Cornetto trilogy, is just plain inimitable. But it isn't the only reason. Because th there's something Edgar Wright does that no director does quite the same. Hi, Barbara. My, how you've grown. Yeah, you better believe it. And I'm not just talking about his transitions, his synchronized choreography, his frame gags, Lispy. his crash zooms, which are, by the way, a loving nod to classics like Sam Raimi's Evil Dead movies, Groovy. only later to become a signature staple of Wright's filmmaking in his own right. All of that, yeah, brilliant, of course. But what I want to talk about today, always surrounded by women, are his callbacks his and Peg's stellar execution of setups and payoffs. Bits and jokes that much like the very existence of the film itself is a seemingly innocuous thing coming back around full circle. Oh my God. Identical or nearly identical pieces of script, pre-zombie uprising. How you doing? Surviving. And after. How you doing? Surviving. And since it's easier to just show you what I mean than to tell you, Ow! You hear a few, straight up, back to back. You got red on you. Similar to those displayed red by on their you. attackers. Oh, he's got red on you. Yeah, look, mum, I've got red on you. That was the second album I ever bought! Oh. No, no, that's the second album I ever bought! Go! <laughs> um, all top left. Uh-huh. That's insane. Reload? I'm on it. Um, since... Oh, my shot. Top left! Ugh, reload! I'm on it! Yeah. Nice shot. Hog lumps! Oh, look! Hog lumps! Just the two of us. Cock it! Cock it! Try the safety button! Yeah, that happened to me on stage. Cock it! Where are we gonna go? To Winchester. Don't be stupid. I don't do food. There's a breath like that. Do you do your toasty? What? What about food? What are we gonna eat? Toasties. There's a breath like that. You do know the front door was open again last night. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! And then, of course. Uh, Mary, I'm, I'm warning you. Okay. Uh, bloody Mary, first thing. I'll bite the king's head, couple of the little princess, we'll stagger back him. <laughs> I'm back at the bar for shots. How's that for a slice of fried gold? No. Hello? Diane, can you let me in, please? But while the majority of the sort of calls and responses in the movie are dialogue based, line based, it isn't all just jokes. One of the best and earliest instances of repetition in Shaun of the Dead is almost entirely visual. Spare some change, please, mister. Uh, yeah. Shaun's walk to the corner shop, set up in this scene, and called back to the morning of the zombie outbreak in this scene. 
The second time around is actually the very first scene Edgar Wright shot for Shaun of the Dead. One long unbroken take uh, and it was almost cut. Wright's editor on the day said there's no way it would ultimately make it in. It's too long. So Wright packed it so full of background detail to justify its existence that they had no choice. No, I haven't got any change. I didn't even have enough for the fucking shot. So. Okay, let's go. The script for Shaun of the Dead was so tight and its callbacks so vital to its structure that for a comedy movie, it meant there could be markedly little improvising. Feel free to step in any time. Did it all right? I didn't want to crap your style. Why? Some exceptions were made, of course. Well, uh, oh, big old guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about her? Holy flaps. <laughs> <laughs> But in general, what they would do is they would rehearse for months beforehand with all the actors going through the dialogue. You're only working out, we'll go in with the shit! I'll take your skunk and your video games and your cup price porn with you! And making changes early so that once shooting began, everything was set in stone. You wanna live like an owl? Go live with a shed, you thick fuck! Oh, leave him alone! Stop defending him, Sean! Player two has entered the game. Ed! Of course, some setups. Uh, well, they're just too good to have their payoffs bound to one movie alone. What's the matter, David? I'm taking a shortcut before. What's the matter, Danny? You never taken a shortcut before? Late 500, take one. Ribs. Shaun of the Dead is not just a zombie movie. Yeah, it's got its clear influences. They're coming to get you, Barbara. We're coming to get you, Barbara! But it's a genre flick running in perfect parallel with a very sweet, very funny, very fun romantic comedy. Smooth. In further tandem with a great romantic comedy. He's not my boyfriend. Might be a bit warm, the cool is off. Thanks, babe. <laughs> this is a movie about two best friends hungover, inconveniently faced with the zombie apocalypse, who have completely backwards priorities over how to defend themselves, over why one should be avoiding social conflict, because A, he might be one of them, and B, he might still be annoyed, and over where to hole up and wait for it all to blow over. We're safe. Where's familiar? Where can I smoke? So if you haven't seen Shaun of the Dead before, or not in years, or months, or days, go get up off your, uh, Game Boys, um, your, uh, Nokia devices, uh, plop down properly, of chaos on the motorway. and enjoy. Literally being eaten alive. I'm Danny Boyd. Shaun! Thanks for watching. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, that's rubbish. <laughs> Sorry. <I'll... laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We need to shut the curtain. Mark it. And speaking of great movies to watch right now and beyond, this video was brought to you by Mubi which currently has a whole Halloween horror collection showing called Watch If You Dare. It features hand-picked genre films from not just across the globe, but across the history of cinema. You can check it out or anything else streaming on Mubi for free with an extended 30-day trial if you go to mubi.com slash cinemasticks. Mubi is different. It's a curated streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the world. From iconic directors to emerging auteurs, Mubi's always got something new and amazing to discover. And that's because with Mubi, each and every film is hand-selected by a team of curators, giving you access to the best of cinema at your fingertips, streaming anytime, anywhere. 
Once again, you can get an extended free 30-day trial if you go to mubi.com slash cinemasticks. That's M-U-B-I dot com slash cinemasticks for a whole month of great cinema for free.